variables in research. In research, variables are elements or characteristics that can vary, and they play a crucial role in the design, measurement, and analysis of studies. There are several types of variables, each with distinct characteristics and roles in research. Here are the various types of variables with examples. 1. Independent variable, IV. The independent variable is the factor or condition that researchers manipulate or control in an experiment to observe its effect on the dependent variable. Example. In a study on the impact of different study techniques on test scores, the independent variable is the study technique, e.g., reading, note-taking, or online tutorials. 2. Dependent variable, DV. The dependent variable is the outcome or response that researchers measure and analyze in relation to changes in the independent variable. Example. In the same study mentioned above, the dependent variable is the test scores of the participants. 3. Control variable. Control variables are factors that researchers intentionally keep constant or control to prevent them from affecting the dependent variable. They help isolate the effect of the independent variable. Example. In a study on the impact of a new drug on blood pressure, factors like age, sex, and diet might be controlled to ensure they don't confound the results. 4. Categorical variable. Categorical variables represent categories or groups and cannot be measured in a continuous, numeric way. They are often nominal or ordinal in nature. Example. Gender, male, female, education level, high school, college, graduate, or product ratings, 1 star, 2 star, 3 star. 5. Continuous variable. Continuous variables can take on a wide range of numeric values and can be measured with great precision. They often have an infinite number of possible values. Example. Age, height, weight, income, temperature, or time. 6. Ordinal variable. Ordinal variables have categories or values that have a meaningful order but are not necessarily equidistant. They represent a rank or order. Example, educational attainment, elementary less than high school less than college less than graduate, customer satisfaction ratings, poor less than fair less than good less than excellent. 7. Nominal variable. Nominal variables are categorical and represent discrete categories or groups with no inherent order or ranking. Example, eye color, blue, brown, green, marital status, single, married, divorced, or vehicle type, sedan, SUV, truck. 8. Ratio variable. Ratio variables are a specific type of continuous variable that have a true zero point, meaning that a value of zero indicates the complete absence of the characteristic being measured. Example, income, age, height, distance, number of children. 9. Interval variable. Interval variables are continuous variables with equal intervals between values but do not have a true zero point, meaning that a value of zero doesn't imply the absence of the characteristic. Example, temperature in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. 10. Extraneous variable. Extraneous variables are factors that are not of primary interest but can influence the dependent variable. Researchers aim to control or account for these variables to minimize their impact on the results. Example. In a study on the effect of caffeine on alertness, factors like sleep, stress, or caffeine tolerance may be extraneous variables. Understanding and properly categorizing variables is fundamental to research design, data collection, and statistical analysis, as it ensures that the research findings are valid and reliable. Thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe the channel.